Food and nutrition scientists at Makerere University have embarked on a project to add value to crickets and grasshoppers, which have been proved to be highly nutritious and beneficial to children as the protein is essential to their physical and mental development. They can also be added to animal feeds. Dr. Dorothy Nachimbugwe, together with other scientists at the university, are behind this project. Um, so insects are very high in protein. We compared the conventional sources of protein, which is chicken, fish and beef, with insects, including crickets and grasshoppers. And we found that the percentage protein on dry matter basis of those insects is comparable to that of the conventional of, of, of sources, fish, poultry and, and beef. But also what we found is that the amino acid profile, eh, the building blocks in the protein that build our bodies, they are very well balanced. Vitamin A, which is good for good eyesight, uh, vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, uh, vitamin uh, D, which is good for building strong bones and teeth. Dr. Nashimbugwe says chicken feed that has an ingredient of crickets is more nutritious than daga fish or mukene. The layers on insect feed continued laying long after the layers on conventional feed stopped laying. And the eggs were very high quality. The yolk was yellow. The rearing of protein-rich edible insects, the crickets and grasshoppers, has started in Uganda and Kenya. We hope that soon we will be able to make tons. But right now we are just making grams of the insect that are there. There are companies in Canada, in USA, in Europe, that are actually commercially producing insects and incorporating them in food, in uh, snack bars, in, um, in chocolates. Uh, they are also incorporating them in, uh, in all sorts of food, in bread. Finland recently launched a bread that is containing crickets and they were counting them, 12 crickets per loaf and, and it was selling like hotcakes. City Minister for Agriculture, Christopher Kibazanga, launched a project with support from the Swedish government. And this is what is expected of a great university like this one. Because like this one, it is very important in the soil formation. According to Dr. Nachimbugwe, grasshoppers and crickets have a higher multiplier effect. In a single laying, if you, you know, compared to how a hen will lay one egg a day, an insect, when it lays eggs, it will lay between 300 and 500 eggs a day. And it will do the same the following day. In Kenya and Uganda, no commercial insect production for food has hardly been undertaken, yet the demand for insects, especially grasshoppers and crickets, is high. So if the Ugandans don't want to eat the crickets, nobody's going to force them. We will export the crickets to the people who want to eat them, and the farmers will still get money. You know what I mean? It can be a, a cut. About 2 billion people worldwide consume insects, with grasshoppers featuring high on the list. However, in some African cultures, Eating insects like these were considered a taboo. Scientists believe that adding insects on the food menu will bridge the nutritional gap. We want to be able to produce and process and make grasshoppers available to the public all year round. Jingo Francis, NTV.